Hello everyone, welcome to Startup Brand Yopada and uh, uh, today is a very wonderful opportunity with us. Uh, as you know that uh, um, Startup Brand is trying more and more to connect more people with you all the guys and today with us is a lot of uh, startup community, the college and university students are here with us and uh, we, we are trying our level best to connect you with the real personalities of your own city. Uh, as you know, uh, there is a lot of personalities who are visiting Mukada, but we are also trying to connect with you the personalities who are working on the grounds in Mukada and they have well experience of this city, of this area, of this district. So today with us is a very wonderful, very hard working uh, personality and uh, he is an educationist, motivational speaker and a lot more and you also know that he is uh, the CEO of uh, All In One Courses Academy and day night he is uh, working for the entrepreneurs, for the uh, startups and also he is trying to make more and more successful persons by giving them education and by giving them a proper guideline. So please welcome our uh, guest. Mr. Rana Muhammad Usman. Welcome, sir. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, dear brother. And what about you? Uh, everything is okay, perfect. First of all, I'm so much thankful that uh, you give your precious time to us and to our students who are here with us. Uh, and uh, uh, as you know, the Startup Brand is a global community yeah. and uh, they are describing the stories of successful persons, yeah. how they come, how they do and uh, how this story was. So today is a platform for you, so sh you can share your story uh, with all the guys so they can uh, understand how everything comes and how they can be uh, a good person like you. So. Kindly, uh, I would like to request you, please uh, tell us your successful story. Uh, first of all, I thanks to Rana Saab, Rana Muhammad Imran, and he is also a very good entrepreneur and he is encouraging and supporting all the entrepreneurs in Nukara city as well as globally as well. Right, and uh, after all, I want to share with you all guys the, my excellent story about uh, entrepreneurship. I must say that entrepreneurship is a passion and uh, <clears throat> all the youth, uh, because youth have, have the power to change the world for positive. So uh, I believe that the, the youth must be involved in entrepreneurship. So I, I also had an entrepreneurship and I just uh, invested in education department because I believe that this is the very sacred and holy department and uh, the people need your guidance, your leadership is severely needed in this world because uh, there is a lot of ignorance uh, uh, prevailed in the world uh, that has been prevailed by some politicians or ignorant people that uh, they get fame by untrue means. Uh, but the real people should come forward, the real leaders who, have, who know that they have the potential to lead the world and lead the youth of the world. Because uh, these politicians have immersed us in a wrong wars, all the dirty politics and such kind of the bad stuff, but we should come out of such dirty politics. We should come towards the entrepreneurship because the world needs entrepreneurship. So how did you start your journey, the, the, your real story, how Rana Usman is a wonderful person? Thanks. Okay, I will explain it shortly. Um, I just invested uh, in education department as I told you earlier and then I want to digitalize the revolutionary, I want to be the process of this revolution because I feel that this world is going to be digitalized sooner or later because to all the world is going, all the departments are going to be the digitalized and going towards the technology and entrepreneurship and all kind of the stuff, right? So. Uh, I created, uh, I, first of all, that was very uh, difficult 
to find a best location because location always matters in your business, right? So I work very hard day and night to find a perfect location for my business, for my educational academy, which I am going to start. And I have developed a lot of homework for this, and I I want this to be digital and IT related, and I want all the tenants. Uh, uh, not only from the Pakistan work, but from all the world on the screens that come and teach in my academy. So uh, I, I will uh, tell you around some of the things step by step. First of all, I found a best location and that, that was very pretty tough and to enter into the market because the people already in the market are not agree to come and uh, uh, bring some new competitor and uh, they want they want not anyone to come and beat them. So. Uh, there were a lot of conventional academies that were old enough and the, in the, the scripture in, in the people's mind that these are very famous academies and the professor were very good but I felt that they lack a lot of in the IT field, in the digital uh, technology and they do, don't know anything and they don't want the students to know uh, such things because a lot of the uh, lectures you can find on YouTube and you can learn a lot of things from the Google search engine or a lot of search engines are there to educate you. I think that technology is always educating you. What you need is always there. But these conventional people don't want you to get there and because if you go there, you find quality stuff there and uh, the business of these people is going to be ruined. So, uh, there was a great depth and I want to introduce a lot of talent into my academy and I, well, uh, that was a very huge, uh, difficult task. Uh, it's not easy. Once it's not easy because you have to find the talents and then to to hire them to work for you is, is also very hard. So uh, first of all, the, the problem of the location solved by me. Then uh, the hiring of the staff was uh, very tough, but it was also very interesting. And uh, I, I enjoyed a lot because meeting uh, new people and searching their talents and streamlining their talent for them and agree them to work for you is uh, a really difficult task, but uh, I managed somehow. And uh, that, that's the beauty of the entrepreneurship. Because uh, an entrepreneur is always fighting with odds. With, uh, uh, basically in Pakistan, uh, we have our government especially and uh, not any people have not any attention on the entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship is such an amazing thing, thing that once you get involved in this thing, uh, you feel that uh, it's a very wonderful journey. And it's a very amazing journey and you must be in it. Uh, surely uh, there are many problems with uh, like financial problems are there like uh, the, to find the correct team and right people for the right work is also very tough but but you keep on learning because uh, I studied a lot of the billionaires and entrepreneurs because most of the billionaires are entrepreneurs and one thing I find common in them is they are always learning they are always learning new things. Even the Jack Bezos says that I was a learner. He, he, first of all, he worked in some international organizations, learned the work and then applied it to his own company, which name is Amazon. And everybody knows what is Amazon and it's trying to enter in India right now, right? So Alibaba, the story of the every great organization and their entrepreneurship starts with a lot of the difficulties. So everyone has to face the financial problems as well. Not everybody is born billionaire. A lot of the entrepreneurs become billionaire by their struggle. And the real beauty lies in the struggle. So uh, Alhamdulillah, I hired a lot of the people from Islamabad, from Karachi, from Faisalabad, and there are, I found a lot of interesting people from around in Pakistan as well. Uh, there is a concept embedded in us that uh, people living outside of life don't know. The Pakistanis are also very talented and believe me that they are incredible people. But I am uh, very feeling very sorry that the government is not doing anything to streamline these people and uh, sometimes they got wasted but uh, somehow they managed to flee away or uh, make their own way because they are entrepreneurs basically. Right? So, uh, I learned a lot of things right? uh, in my this beautiful and wonderful journey and I met a lot of amazing people, genius people and I, I got a fame and a lot of the people in the education department come to know who Rana Usman is and uh, 
uh, not only monetary terms, but in a fame term. I, I enjoyed a lot of fame and uh, relationships with big business personalities as well. And uh, so above all, the most important thing is learning. Because uh, as a youth of Pakistan, uh, I think that Imran Khan is also an entrepreneur because he kept on struggling. And he himself this said, said that I am an entrepreneur. He struggled for 22 years consecutively and then he became the Prime Minister of the Pakistan and all the world know that. So I, I, I learned and get some inspiration from him that he said all this thing that keep on learning. Because this is a missing ability for the human and uh, Allah Almighty has created our brain the most amazing thing that uh, you can learn a lot of the things. Exactly the thing as uh, uh, as you know, uh, a lot of learners are here with us, they are students. And students, the most wonderful words of Rana Swan, which I really appreciate with you all guys, that is the learning is everything. If you want to do something, so please learn. So learning is a uh, lead to success. So uh, I really would like to learn from our smiles, uh, the things how to learn and how he is doing all that. Ransap, uh, I would like to also get somehow knowledge about the troubles you face during all your journey. And not only one project of uh, AIOU, that, that's your wonderful project, but uh, as you know, every entrepreneur has to do a lot of things. And, uh, what the things you face are, uh, what can we say that, uh, how many times you struggle. So, uh, we would also like to know, know that from where you find that this was not working because there is no word of, uh, there is only one thing that is success. Yeah. And there is nothing like failure or fail. Yeah. And you also believe so. So, how many times you learn, and can you explain or can you tell us the uh, hurdles and the troubles and how many times you struggle? All right, uh, that's a very nice question. Uh, first of all, I want to elaborate the definition of failure. The, the concept of failure embedded in our minds is that once you are failed, you can do nothing. No, that's not a point. Failure is just a point to learn something new. Every time you fail, you learn that this process is not working and something other will work. So uh, you should not uh, say the failure as a failure, but failure is a process of learning in my view. Right. So uh, yes, definitely there are a lot of problems and hurdles in my way. And uh, the biggest problem is uh, the management of time. <coughs> because every of your entrepreneurial activity needs a great attention, your focus, because Bill Gates always say that uh, focus is everything. When you focus, you get successful. And uh, uh, in this way, I felt, uh, because I have a lot of the projects, because an entrepreneur is some brilliant people and they're always dreaming with some new idea and brilliant ideas, but they are not finding almost the time to implement all this into their ideas. So uh, I feel a lot of difficulty by time management, then comes the process of hiring the right people because uh, you have to train them you have to uh, to understand them what your work is what your objective is what your company company's mission statement is when your workers know that what's the real goal your your boss your ceo wants then they could work in a better way so it's a very tough thing because people have different abilities and to sort out the right people for the right job is always a um, a difficult and Herculean task. So uh, the third thing is sometimes financial issues. Uh, yeah, you cannot invest in all your projects uh, because you are not born a billionaire, especially in a country like Pakistan facing uh, some economic problems. And uh, I must say that due to uh, <laughs> ineligibility of some of our politicians as well, uh, the Imran Khan is one, one company trying to cover these. Now but we are going heading toward bad mess uh, because our results are rising. But but the, these the government must pay and uh, Kamyal Duan program, I really appreciate Imran Khan that uh, he, he has a view about these entrepreneurial minds and he don't want such talent going wasted because if such kind of the talent is going wasted, this will be the loss of the world. Because uh, a report has have said that uh, the lot of genius found in subcontinent like Pakistan and India, Indians are also, uh, no matter our army conflict, but they are genius people and they are having some 
beautiful organization in the world and uh, we must appreciate it, uh, no problem. So, because we have the same origin, our, our continent is the same, so this, our tail end is also almost very, uh, almost similar. So, uh, the dilemma is that uh, we, our talent, get outsourced, get outside and work there, not here, because th that is the mismanagement of the government. So, uh, I must encourage all the entrepreneurs that an entrepreneur never considers any difficulty. He is a person that is going bound to defeat all his failures, all his problems, and turtles. That is why he is called an entrepreneur. Wow, amazing. <laughs> so, uh, very wonderful, and as his motivation speaker, so he's giving you motivation as well, and uh, everyone's face also uh, giving us a lot of attraction and the lights in your eyes can tell us that Carlos Man is talking about the things which really you are understanding so well. Uh, and uh, the main thing is that, uh, as you know, that there's a lot of troubles going on with the, uh, and everyone who's uh, just like a startup, who's going to start his new business. So we are facing a lot more troubles like funding, finance. So how can you tell them that how they can uh, overcome all this trouble and how they can start their own business and how the investment will come from. Right, uh, Ranasa, when you, uh, when you study a lot of the billionaires and successful entrepreneurs, uh, we come to that, uh, know that they start with nothing. They have nothing and they just have an amazing idea and then they materialize their idea to practical work, hired right people, done a lot of the work, devotion with focus, and then one day come, came that uh, the world knows that that person became successful. And there are a lot of the stories, even in Okara, and even in Pakistan and the world, you can find a lot of stories. Not everybody uh, by entrepreneur is billionaire. You become billionaire by entrepreneurship. So uh, his product must be a scientific product, must be a, an idea that can revolutionize the society. Uh, anything would be an entrepreneurship. Every, everything new, everything tough and adventurous. So uh, finance is never a problem. If your idea is great, the government, some government pro plans and programs are always supporting you and telling you that come and take a loan from us with very little interest rates and that you can pay back easily and the uh, Kamyab Jawan program and the uh, Ehsaas program and a lot of initiative I, I must appreciate by Imran Khan, the Prime Minister of Pakistan is an educated person and he has uh, initiated a lot of such projects, right? Not giving a laptops and uh, saying that we have um, youth to support, no, he is actually um, revolutionize the system and adapt and our organization is uh, innovating, right? So there are government plans and uh, there are, you can uh, borrow money from your friends, relatives, family members, you can accumulate your money from your job and the most important thing is your determination. Yeah. Raza, if once you are determined, then you can do everything. But I think the most important thing is your determination and other things come because uh, you have uh, listened to this uh, most of the time then when you are committed and determined then uh, nature is going to support you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I am. So, I can understand that it's really a very uh, thing, the point is your determination. Yeah. And uh, I think that these kind of things are really very helpful uh, for all these uh, our gathering who, who, who's just trying to become a successful person. They, they, uh, we hope that you all guys uh, get well your education and, and, and this is something that because uh, you have very wonderful ideas and uh, as Joe I would like to say also this I was I was thinking that you are the next PTI leader from your city. You guys are supporting so much PTI. But uh, 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 we can say that, okay, that's perfect that uh, the politics are also good. But uh, here we would like to talk on business especially. Uh, but the thing is, what do you think? Degree is important, our skills are important. What's your point of view? Very good question by Aransa. Uh, I think personally, I mean, uh, there are a lot of successful people 
Uh, okay, one point I want to suggest you that read the stories of the successful people because they gives you the motivation. They, uh, you know that what hurdle they face and uh, become a successful person. Now I will turn to your question as well. That uh, I think uh, there is a famous Chinese proverb that uh, I hear, I forget, and I do, I learn. And uh, that's a fact of the life that uh, we learn a lot of things by just doing that, in practicality. Not just reading and thinking and will to know. Just start over now. Time is now. The nature has given you the life after millions of the years, after the evolution, and now you have the opportunity to do something amazing. Now is your time. The, the tomorrow never comes. Time is now. If you, you want to do something, do it right now. Right? So you need to just to start over. When you start over, you, your mind working for you and he is giving you the guidelines and the nature is always supporting you that, that he, he checks your determination level. And when your determination level is good, he creates all the things for you. So I think that practicality is most important and I, I know a lot of successful people that uh, they bring about their children saying that do something practical along with your study. Study is a good thing always, but uh, relying only on study is not a good thing. Okay, do it practically and alongside. Do your study, but put it into action. Because uh, our great scholars of the Pakistan and subcontinent say that the knowledge which is not into the practicability, practicability is not a useful knowledge. So that's going to be wasted. A, a lot of, uh, you can store billions of the megabytes of the information in your brain, but what is the use that's in that information? It is not going to be beneficial for your society, and uh, that information is not going to be beneficial for the humanity and humankind. So uh, I think that, uh, first of all, you must put that knowledge into practicability. And then with practicability, you learn a lot of things with the passage of the time. And uh, when we study deeply, all the entrepreneurs of the world and business community in the world learn alongside the way. And they pick up some opportunities. What the Bill Gates does, he just introduced uh, he just introduced a software and at the right time, at the right place, and he just recognized an opportunity that there are a lot of computers in the world where they have no software. So what thing is needed? You just recognize this, that thing, that problem, pick up the problem, work on it, and give the solution to the public. And in repay, the public is going to pay you in money terms. Right? All the entrepreneurs are doing this. If you are a leader, if you are a hardworking man and you want to change the world for quality, you have to be practical. And uh, uh, Bill Gates and a lot of the people who are entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, just uh, left their universities. And when uh, Bill Gates went to Harvard University and uh, delivered a lecture that I, I, I was just a university dropout, and the people laughing that he was delivering a lecture in the university and telling the people that do something right now. Not only rely on your studies, studies will continue on site. Exactly, so uh, I think that you can understand that only the degree is not complete. You need practical, you need practical examples and that is skills. So education with skills is perfect. Only education, only degree is just like Nothing. Uh, so uh, also, uh, the time is short, and uh, uh, as you know that uh, uh, we want to make it very much uh, not lengthy, lengthy uh, interviews or lengthy, lengthy other things. We are just trying to focus. So the, this platform, this is not only for Bukhara or only for Pakistan. And there are 600 cities. Uh, who are the directors, chapter directors of this startup brand community. So all of these guys uh, want to get some new things, not the boring ones that are not the lengthy ones. I think that people are enjoying a lot and learning a lot of real things. Exactly, exactly. So now uh, I would like to uh, ask your message to the whole world in the short term. So how would you like to say your message to the whole community of startup brand and the whole world? Right. Uh, my message is to keep on struggling and keep on working practically and change the world for positive. There are a lot of messy words in the world like uh, very boring things that are destroying the humanity, killing a lot of the people and wasting a lot of resources and that going nothing uh, to just help the humanity. The humanity 
is only going to be helped out just by doing some positive things, some entrepreneurial activities, some inventions, some good things, some good ideas, some welfare. And I will, I must appreciate you that you have originated a welfare organization in Pakistan and Bukhara, and I know that it's very tough to run such kind of institutions in such conditions of Pakistan. But I really must appreciate and uh, the people must learn uh, things from the type of the people like you that want to serve the humanity. So you can just serve the humanity with your idea, with your good deeds, and with your good thoughts. And uh, I request you all the world leaders and all the world that please stop this uh, absurd activities of the war like that. There are people, a lot of, there are a lot of people, poor people in the world that need your support. So instead of wasting all billions of the dollars in, in shitty wars, you just help the poor people. And instead of ex expeditions into the space a lot, I I'm not uh, stopping you from going into the space, you just explore the space, but first of all, uh, make humanity, uh, all the humanity, well off and the UN United Nations is working well but I must have I must encourage all all the humanity to work for them mankind and that's my message. For an amazing message hope that the whole world uh, will tell us uh, how they feel and how they think about Ranos Fan. So please uh, just write down your feedback uh, on the video so we can understand that how you are practicing with us. Uh, so Ranos uh, the is the time to say you thank you so much Thanks. and so much. now uh, it's uh, like uh, how you would like to conclude our today's talk and the final words of you and then I will say bye bye in my own, in my own style but now it's your final uh, uh, what we can say the final words uh, what whatever you would like to say at the uh, thanks or uh, the end or, or what exactly you would like to okay. Uh, because this meeting was especially for, uh, in point of view of the business and startups and entrepreneurship so I must encourage all the entrepreneurs and never ever get disappointed and this was also mentioned in the holy book of Quran the word of Allah never ever get disappointed keep on working keep on working keep on failing keep on learning and this will make you a great personality in the end inshallah Thank you so much Arasab and thank you all the guys who are here with us and thanks the viewers who are watching us from around the globe. Uh, it's really amazing to connect you with more and more su successful persons of Pakistan and we are trying to focus on the persons who belong to our district and we are trying more and more to find the more amazing stories and to present in front of you. Uh, so thanks you all the guys, hope to see you soon with another speaker, till that time. Take care. Bye-bye.